Well, this video is the unofficial part two to my Langley dresser video. Today I'm putting together the Langley crib, which I have right here. Now I had to carry this up in pieces again because that thing was really heavy. So I have all the pieces kind of leaned up there. I've got the directions here. Here's what it is. Eddie Bauer First Adventure Langley crib. I think this is going to be a little bit easier than the dresser to put together just because I'm just kind of putting together a frame and no drawers or anything. These are the parts that came with it. Pretty similar to the last one. And then there's a couple more pieces over here. And uh, a bunch of styrofoam all over the floor from the dresser. And if you haven't seen that, there it is right there. Wow, this is so easy. I'm going to show you the first step. This is the back of the crib. It's going to go against the wall over there. And all you're going to do is take these pins and then these little washers. And then they go into the outside right here. These dowels go in right there and then also into the hole right over here. And that's going to happen on all four corners. And that is step one. Super easy. Step one done. Step two has you putting the sides of the crib on. And it doesn't look too bad either, so let's get to it. Here's the crib with step two completed. Got both the sides on. And next we're moving on to step three. Step three has us putting the mattress in. And if you look at the instructions here, they actually put color photos in. Wouldn't it be nice if they just did the entire manual like that? Instead of using these really crappy instructions, you can actually see what's going on. Step three is done, mattress is in. You had a couple options on how high or low you wanted this, so I put it on the second one of the four, so you can kind of raise it up so the mattress would be a little bit higher. But I kind of like it there, and this is kind of a cool feature. It had this little envelope here where you can put your instructions and your tools and stuff inside here, just so uh, if you ever take it apart, you know how to put it back together again. Step four is taking the front piece and the bottom part and putting those together, and they're the last two pieces that I have here, and then I should be able to finish this thing up. That's step four completed, not a whole lot of difference there. Then finally, step five is just putting this front piece on the crib. Here's the finished crib, got the front on. Couple things I'm disappointed with. This right here, that is not cool at all. Nice little crack there, which I don't really want to take the time to return this, so I'm probably just going to super glue it. But you can definitely see some issues there, and that definitely wasn't for me. That was as it came, and then at the bottom here, it's cracked off completely. And then we also noticed this right here, there's a mark right there in the front. Unfortunately, I can't really turn this around because the back is, is just plain and then the front has a little bit of a design on it and that's the way it's supposed to be. So it's just going to be that way and I'm just going to fix this, I guess. All right, we got the room all rearranged and I want to show you the finished product with the crib and everything set up just as it's going to be when the baby comes. Start with the crib itself. I'm sure you want to see that all set up and inside of it we got the mattress and then also our mattress cover which is obviously a jungle theme and then we got a little comforter on top of that so that's all set up and this is uh cody sleeps on this side so she'll be very close to to grab the baby and then when she needs to feed him she's going to take him over here into that chair and then this light has a couple different settings so you don't necessarily need it so bright you can kind of just do um the bottom there which it's not too bad at all and that should be somewhat sleepable after that and of course we got the dresser and changing table over here already stacking some stuff on that so I think that's gonna be pretty cool I don't know if she put stuff in there yet or not we had to make some changes in here this dresser was over here and now everything's kinda just piled over here which kinda sucks because it's sort of like claustrophobic and all this stuff was either free or from yard sales so everything's kinda mismatched and then poor bear she's the one that really had to suffer she's tucked away all in the corner here her bed used to kinda come out here I sleep here so we're kinda she's on my side but she's all <laughs> kinda stuck in there. It's okay, Bear. You still have a nice spot, and then she's nice and close to the heat vent, which I don't really like that too much, but I think she likes being warm. So I'm all finished putting together the baby furniture. The only thing I have to put together now is the stroller, the car seat, and then the swing, and that should be about it. And I think that stuff should be relatively simple. The other good news I wanted to tell you was that I have a customer service form here for the crib, and I'm going to have them replace that defective part, hopefully. I'm at least going to send it in and see what happens. Otherwise, I'm just going to put a little super glue on there, and it's not such a big deal. But when, uh, when you get something like this, you want it to be nice at first, at least. So hopefully that works out, and uh, I'll keep you updated on, the, on all the process and the progress that I make here. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.